WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of red, different from yesterday, which was a sea of green. You've got the Dow down 859 points. That's 2 and 6 tenths percent. 3 percent for the S&P, 125 points. 4 percent for the NASDAQ, 100, 512 points. 3 percent for the Russell, 57. The semis are down 4 and 6 tenths percent. That's 126 percent to the down, 126 bucks to the downside. 374 for the trendies. That's up 2 and 6 tenths percent. We take a look at metals out here. Gold's off 24 bucks, one to four tenths percent, one and seven tenths for silver. That's down 33 cents. And lights recruit off a buck 35. She's trading out at 86.45. Natural gas up two cents, about the only thing trading the upside other than the spot volatility. 30 year treasury off nearly one point, trading out at 131.30. As we look at our nine panel market update chart, we begin with the ES mini. Price finding resistance at the center of its weekly profile. It's at 41.32. Price back inside the daily profile. So we've got a big move lower, but until support gets broken, and support really being the 3898 level, that's the bottom of the uh, December contracts weekly profile. We've also got support at uh, 3933. Spot Volatinix is well above its 50-day exponential moving average. It does not have a one-day rate of change above plus 10% just yet, but it may by the end of the day. If it doesn't, you're going to expect and anticipate some type of bounce or rally in the following session. If we take a look at the NQ, it has not busted through support just yet. Its support level that we'd be watching for is at the 12126 area, 12126.48 to be exact. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's back inside its daily profile, closed just below it yesterday. That signals a false breakdown. And now we just have a consolidation between the 108.49 and the 110.53 level. Goldilocks pulling back and testing support. The low so far in gold has been at 1706.70. The bottom of its daily profile, 1707.10. 1706.70, a key level to be observing. Silver, very strong here. Now, it's been very strong the last couple of days, especially yesterday. Price is testing the top of its uh, weekly profile. That's at 1957. We're trading at 1956 right now. That's very strong out there. So silver, much stronger than Goldilocks. Is that telling us something? I don't know. If we take a look at Light Sweet Crude, just consolidating with inside its daily profile, support at 8285, resistance 9108. Natural gas really doing the same thing, although there's a new profile. It ran into resistance at $8.40, and the 30-year Treasury is uh, trading below its bullish structure daily profile. That suggests lower price coming at us. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.